The government of Uganda has inaugurated the Western Uganda Regional Information Communication Technology ICT Innovation Hub at Kawa University. This groundbreaking initiative, supported by the Ministry of ICT and National Guidance under the National ICT Initiative Support Program, aims to foster and promote innovative startups while providing vital resources for their growth. The launch took place at the university premises in Chukunjiri, Kawa Municipality, and was presided over by Saila Singabirano, the Commissioner for Research and Development at the Ministry of ICT, presenting Dr. Chris Bayomusi, the Minister of ICT and National Guidance. The event commenced with an exhibition of exceptional innovation projects by students from the university. Among the impressive ideas presented were a range of solutions designed to address pressing societal challenges. These included an automatic waste segregator system, an automated home water management system, an unmanned fire detection and fighting system, an automatic solar loading shading controller, a contactless lighting system, an intelligent fish monitor, and a hand gesture controlled wireless mount. Professor Joy Kwesiga, the Vice Chancellor of Kawa University, expressed her gratitude to the ICT Ministry for enabling the establishment of the hub that will drive visible change in the region. We made with the NDP, and I think this is going to be to grow in something which is very important. Remember, the ICT Innovation Center is for the Western region. We, it is not just for cover, it is for the Western region. So we hope that to grow into a bigger uh, innovation hub. Uh, UNDP is, is also, I think, able to help us if we continue, if we start off well, because that's what we were promised last week when we signed the agreement for this incubation center. So you can see there is hope and about growing this. Associate this. Professor Felix Businge, the team leader for the Regional Innovation Hub, emphasized the significance of the incubation and innovation hub in fostering cutting edge solutions. He had trained the hub's objectives, which include providing a platform for innovative ideas and creating markets for the resulting products. An MOU was signed on 17th May 2022 to provide workspace, mentorship, education, and access to funders, provide adequate resources, support obtaining of the intellectual property, and support the commercialization of the innovations. I want to inform you that Kaba University is one of the three regional innovation hubs. We have one for Western, that is Kaba University, another one in Eastern, that is Soroti University, and then another one in Northern Uganda, that is Moon University. So we are among the few universities hosting the regional innovation hubs. Dr. Addison Kakuru, the chairperson of the University Council, highlighted the pivotal role of innovation shaping the future and encouraged students to hasten their creativity. Our request as a university, we have started a, a project with very high potential. They have uh, discussed the process out of innovation to come up with product, brand it, and to go into mass production. And I think this is what we like. In this area where we have well endowed with the natural resources, well endowed, we have people who are producing lots of things. So with these good ideas, I think if we continue with this partnership with the ministry and other partners, I think this uh, innovation hub is going to develop not only this area, but I think the whole country. Saila Singabirano, the Commissioner for Research and Development at the Ministry of ICT, expressed admiration for the showcase innovations, particularly emphasizing the eye and hand gesture controlled wireless mouth and the digital devices for switching on and off. He stressed that innovation could pave the way for self employment and career opportunities. Actually, when I was witnessing uh, the demonstrations, I saw uh, potential projects. One of them is the lights control system. I have bought an auntie who stays in Kampala, and she has in her house, she puts solar, but because she's using solar, she does not switch off the lights. Even during the day, the lights are on, even at night, they are on. 
So this is my soul, hey car. But when she's in the Kampala, she can switch off during the day and switch on at night. But what she's using so that she says I can leave the lights on when I go back, that's when I can switch off or switch on again. As a ministry, we want to promise and commit to work with the, the university management to solicit for funds. Like we have had UNDP having supported the education hub, the education center, the our university. We are very sure there are other sponsors who are willing to come and chip in. So as the professor you have been encouraged, I also want to add my voice and encourage you uh, to write more proposals and we are sure that we shall get uh, shall get more sponsors because the main purpose of this hub is, uh, is to support the whole of Western region. Currently, only three universities in Uganda, Kumi, Muni and Kawa University, have innovation hubs. The government has already invested shillings 250 million in the project at the Kawa University. A story by Joanna Namara, Nobatingama Chief for Kigaz TV.